And hello everyone, welcome back to Rhythm Dengoku Arcade, this is part 4, and I'm not sure if you can tell, I'm pretty sure you can actually. Um, I finally found out how to get my internal microphone, or the internal microphone of this computer, to behave properly, which means I can finally get it to sound normal, and it sounds pretty good, I must say. Picks up a lot of noise from far away. Although, um, the noise gate that I put on, uh, post-processing makes it a little bit harder for you to actually hear some of those quiet noises, but I'm really only looking forward, I mean, only looking to, um, oh, yeah. for you to hear my voice, and that's about all I need. Okay, so, we're doing part four, which means still on one player, but we're gonna be doing stage number four. By the way, um, there's something that you may be able to notice starting from this point on. The clue I'm giving is that these recordings, from now on, are being recorded in November. That's the only clue I'm giving. Some people may know what this is, some people may not. But you're gonna have to find out for yourself. Okay, first game. is the same intro as Showtime, but it's nothing like it. In fact, it's not really even a rhythm game at all has music of its own, which is cool. It's called The Quiz Show, and this text also auto-scrolls, I'm gonna skip this. And basically all you do is you just repeat the taps that this person does. Those taps at the very end, that last tap, is random. It's gonna either be zero or one or two. Did a little quickly because I didn't want the time to run out. And after two text blocks, you get. Yeah, if it's correct or if it's not correct. If it's wrong, you mess up and you f you get to try again if you miss the first question or the second question actually. This is the second question. A little bit harder now. You can use the D-pad as well. No extra taps on this one. drawback to the, uh, using the microphone here is that you can quite easily hear my key presses, but that's not a problem really. Okay, and last question is much, much harder. One last tap at the end. Okay, let's go. Did that work? Answer is... Yes, it did. Perfect. Yay, superb. Ew. Okay. Second game is... It's, um, easy, but, uh, may take some time to get used to. These are the same interest as the Clappy True and Space Dance, because this is called Night Walk, and you're, like, bouncing on the stars. Oh, there's a tutorial for this. So basically, you hear that bass drum, and literally all it is is just the person tapping, pressing A every single beat. That's all you do. Let's skip it. Let's go. This is one of my favorite music tracks, by the way. One, two, three, four. The thing about this is if you mess up, if you don't press the A button in time, you may fall into these holes that are conveniently placed in the stage, and if you fall into any of them, that counts as a try again. If you fall to the very last hole, even, it still counts as a try again, so make sure not to do that. That was what it, what it sounds like if you're a little bit too early. I like the square waves being turned into saw waves. 
That sounds really cool. Uh, this is one of those tracks along with the clappy trio that you can play along to like the, with the drum live thing. One, two, three, four. With um, in rhythm thing for GBA, if you play through every single stage, you get to unlock this mode where you can play along to different tracks in the game with the drums, and this is one of them. One, two, three, four. And again, just keep tapping, don't stop. I also like the faint vibrato effect to the melody. One, two, three, and done. And there we go. That wasn't too hard. I did mess it up once, but that's about it. What? That cost me the- okay? Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna play that again. But, uh... Right. I didn't think I'd actually get an okay for that. Anyway. Next game is Power Calligraphy with uh, the cool Japanese intro again. This one has a few different uh, mechanics to it, but you just press A again. First mechanic is this. So when you hear, then you press A. Second one is this. Yep, so that's a little bit. A harder delay, or a slower delay. Sustain on that, whatever instrument that is, is a little bit weird. So there's that. And there's this. If you mess it up, he makes growling noises. And there's even one if you don't press A in time, it makes a different noise. But I'm gonna try not to do that. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, but it, the timing starts becoming off. I'm not sure if you can tell. But just a little bit. Oh, yeah, see? I was trying to do it normally. It didn't let me. It's because it's a little bit late. One, two, and hit again. What? I did that. Oh, it's very, very off now. It's gonna get a little little bit better now. In a bit. Here we go, and one, two, and... No! Oh, there we go. When it changes midis for the faster speed, it resets itself, so it's a little bit better now. And again, one, two, and hit. No, not again! Oh, that was me, I messed that up. And again, one, two, and hit. Got. And then there's this one. By the way, all these different symbols are apparently supposed to be Japanese characters. This last one is supposed to be a face that he just wrote down with that hand, apparently, that you're controlling. And then you have an ending, which unfortunately fades out. Is it supposed to have that last there, which doesn't exist. Yeah. Uh, this time, the okay, I actually knew that I was gonna get an okay for that, because I really messed that up. Could have paid more attention, but it's okay. Let's, let's, uh, put in some coins. I'm not sure how many coins you really need, I just put in three all the time and it, it accepts it mostly. Okay. Fourth game is called Polyrhythm. Now, this is gonna be really hard to explain, I'm gonna try new intro that's actually quite high quality, I like it. Okay, here's the way- oh, uh, I'm gonna skip the tutorial because it's gonna make it even harder. Here's the way it works. Ew! So here are this two bass drums, you go A, 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 so you repeat the sequence that you hear, but you repeat it twice. So here are the two bass drums, you go A, A, and again A, A, done. Now it gets a little bit harder. One, two, three, four. A, 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 A. Keep doing it. And again, you get a sequence twice every time. Two of the same sequence. One, two, three, four. Now, this sound is the D-pad. So it's anything on the D-pad. And again, 
Ew. Now, this is where it gets hard. Because A, D pad, A, D pad, A, D pad, A, D pad, got it. And again. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, this is where it gets really tricky because you have to do both at the same time. One, two, three. Okay, and then there's this. A, both, A, both, A. No, 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 oh no. You're gonna have to find out why I just said that. But it has something to do with the very beginning of the video. And we're done. Didn't mess it up. Although, singing is, uh, something that you really can't avoid. Like, I can't play this without singing it. It's really hard not to. Okay, and Game 5 is by far my favorite. It has a lot of really cool samples in it. And also, the intro... the intro... What is... say it like that. The intro is improved in comparison to the GBA version. It sounds much better. Listen to this. That sounds so cool. It's Rap Men or Rap Brothers, I'm not sure. Time. So you can press A all you want, and it says the number 2 for some reason. But uh, first he's gonna give you a cue that you can't really do anything with, just, just to illustrate what you're supposed to do. So when he goes, uh, that's when you press A. Now you're going to be able to do it yourself. Yo, wakarimasu ka? And there we go. So, the one that starts, that, that ends with ka is a question that does that. Now, next cue is like this. It's a little bit harder. One, two. Kinda see, come on, net one, two. Almost messed that up. Is that gonna work? No, yeah, it is. Okay, so the come on, net is the one, two, and then. Mm mm, Kimi to psycho. Mm mm, Kimi to psycho. Mm mm. That's the hardest one. And now we're gonna seamlessly transition into the real level. Oh, that was not a seamless transition whatsoever. I thought it was gonna be, but no, it's not. Yo, sanj desu ka? Uh, some of these phrases, uh, sanj desu ka means is it 3 o'clock? Oyasu desu ka? I'm not actually sure. Oh, that was pretty bad. Yo, sanj desu ka? And then, honto desu ka? That's my favorite one, because it's so hard. You don't expect it very much. One, two, yo, yo, eh, eh, perishi, come on, eh? Yo, 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 and Mm, oishi, come on, eh? Honto desu ka? Mm, perishi, come on, eh? Now we get into the oyatsu wa saiko, mm, kibun wa saiko, mm, ore te saiko, mm, honto desu ka? My problem is, with these, I'm not actually sure what it means. Like, psycho means that it's the best. I know that. But I don't actually know what is psycho. And there's this. Ore no se kamo ne. Ore shire nai yo. Sore mo so kamo ne. One, two, yeah. So, yeah. Um, some of those cues takes a little while to get used to. The ones that end in ka. Oh, come on. Ones that end in ka are the normal ones with you wait, just do it once. Come on, net is the one, two, and the sai ko is the um mm -mm. Or nayo in some cases. Okay, remix number four. This one's a little bit hard. Starts out with night walk. Yeah, it just expects you to, like, start doing it. Unless you want to fall into a pit, that is. Then we have Quiz Show. 
One, two, three, four. Din, din, din. And back to night, night walk. Then there's polyrhythm. One, two, one, two. And D pad, both. D pad, both. Okay, got that right. Now we have calligraphy. On beat this time. Oh, right as soon as I say that, I actually messed that up. Come on. And one, two. Speed up. Night walk. Then we have A, 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 D pad, D pad, and stop, go. Both, 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 both. Okay, done with the act session. Now we have Yo, Sans desu ka? Yo, Oyas desu ka? Onto desu ka? Hmm. Kibun wa saiko. Hmm. Yeah. And slow down and back to calligraphy for a bit. One, two, and one. Hit and root. Yes. And one more night walk section. And one more quest show. Which can be a few different patterns. It can it can stay at four or it can be five. It's actually quite it's actually random on this one. And it ends with the classic is your answer correct and yes my answer is correct. And I got that right. So I got a few OKs on that, which I'm not proud of, but it doesn't matter. With the arcade version, it really doesn't matter because you don't get any more, uh, you don't get any medals or anything. And I cleared set four. Yes, congratulations. So yeah, that was set number four. It was one of my favorite sets. Now, uh, set number five is going to be a little bit more complicated. It's going to be really hard to explain some of those games, but we'll get to that when we get to that. And for now. I would like to um, I would like to uh, sign off and hope that you've actually enjoyed this. And I'm not sure when I'm going to start rec uh, uploading these because I've been recording these in advance. But uh, I think set four, as in this recording, is going to be the last one that I'll uh, uh, that I'll record before I'll start start uploading. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later.